So with these problems, we're using properties of logarithms to expand the logarithmic expression as much as possible. So if you're in my class, you're looking at number 18 is the first one we're doing. So we are expanding log 6 square root of 5x. Well, the first thing that we want to do is write our square root as an exponent. So this is going to equal log base 6 5x to the 1 half. Now we have to put that in parentheses because the entire part of 5x was underneath our radical. If it wasn't, we would only put the exponent on what it actually was a part of. So we're going to move our exponent out front first. So this will be 1 half log 6 5x. Well, what's happening between the 5 and the x is multiplication, and multiplication becomes addition. They're kind of similar signs, so if you have multiplication, it becomes addition. If you have division, it will become subtraction. So you can see kind of the division becoming subtraction. So to expand this, I will have 1 half log base 6, 5, plus 1 half log base 6, x. And that's all there is to it. There's nothing else to do on that. All right, so when we look at this one that's similar to number 20 on your review, we have log base 6 x plus 3 over x to the 4. So the first thing I want to do is separate them apart. This is division, so it's going to become subtraction. You can think about division with this line is like subtraction with a line. Anyway, it works for you. So as we rewrite this, we're going to have log base 6, x plus 3, minus log base 6, x to the 4th. Now, to finish this, all we have to do is take care of our exponents. Because this is addition, it's not multiplication or division. We don't have to do anything right there. So I'm going to bring this exponent up front, so we'll have log base 6, x plus 3 minus 4 log base 6 x. And that's all you have to do on that. So now we're going to look at condensing logarithmic expressions. So our first problem that we're looking at is uh, 5 uh, natural log a minus 9 natural log b. So to work this problem, basically we're going to take the number out front and turn them back into our exponents. So this will be ln a to the fifth minus ln b to the ninth. Now these aren't exactly like terms, but they are both lns. Because of that, we can put them together. This subtraction tells us it will become division. So this will be the ln of a to the fifth divided by b to the ninth and then you're done. So the last problem we're looking at is similar to 23 on the review. So we have 4 log base 3x plus 6 log base 3y plus 2 minus 2 log 3z. So we'll start by moving our exponents back. So here we have log base 3x to the fourth plus log base 3y plus 2 to the sixth minus log base three z squared. So here we have addition, which becomes multiplication, and we have subtraction, which will become division. They all have the same base of log three. So we're gonna have log three x to the fourth times y plus two to the sixth divided by z squared, and then you can put that in parentheses as well. 